Next is Officer Carlos Gutierrez and K-9 Primo. Primo uses his speed and power to stop a suspect who's evading the law. Wow, what speed and power. Primo quickly stops the suspect in question. Next, the K-9 protection demonstration. Here, K-9 Geely quickly reacts to chase and subdue the assailant who attacks his partner. The speed and power of Geely are on display as the K-9 immobilizes the individual. The K-9 will continue to protect his partner. If the individual resists, the K-9 immediately responds in force. The officer maintains full control over the K-9. And our last demonstration is the test of courage under gunfire. The K-9 chases down an individual during gunfire. The K-9 is fearless despite the noise of gunfire and immobilizes the individual. What a halftime show. Now back to Natalie for an on-field interview. One of the stars of the Cops and Jocks Bowl 2009 halftime show is Geely <laughs> with his officer and trainer. Yep. yep, officer and trainer, Officer Anderson from the Rialto Police Department. How was that this afternoon? Uh, it was a lot of fun. We got to participate and do a lot of good things, and the uh, community gets to see what we're, uh, what we're all about. So Cops and Jocks Bowl, this is your first one? This is the first one that I've been a member of, but uh, Colt and San Bernardino have attended before and participated. Is this Geely's first Cops and Jocks Bowl? Yes, it is. He's a brand new dog with our department, and uh, he had a good time today. Now, the fierceness of Geely during the halftime show was amazing, but right now he seems just uh, adorable. He's, he's just a dog. Uh, we prefer to pick social dogs, um, but our dogs know when it's time to work and they know when it's time to play. And they're completely controlled by their officer and trainer, so if I was a problem, <laughs> you could totally take care of that? Yeah, but I don't think it'd be a problem. I think it'd be okay. <laughs> so the Cops and Jocks Bowl, now this is just a tremendous event that is benefiting the San Bernardino County Special Olympics. Now, how important is that for you guys just to be out here and promote uh, safety and, and charitable events? It's, it's very important because we get to show the public what we do. The public gets a better understanding of how we work and why we use police canines. Plus, we're supporting the community for a great cause, obviously. So it's, it's kind of heartfelt for us. Thank you so much. Now, you did promise me that we can scratch Geely's belly. Definitely. In fact, here, watch this. Lock me. Lock me. Scratch, scratch, scratch. He's, he's just a big baby at heart. That's all he is. He, uh, he loves to play and he loves the good scratching and um, he likes donuts too. He likes donuts? He likes jelly donuts, so yeah. No score in the first half. We move on to the second. Well, the second half started bad for the Badgers who after a loss of yards found themselves down by six with an enforcer's quick score. Though they failed to convert the extra point, momentum was on their side. We pick things up with the Badgers running the ball into a tough enforcer's defense. But the resilient Badgers managed to build momentum of their own, beginning with this bruising run into enforcer territory. Momentum continues to build with a direct snap to the running back, who shifted and breaks a few tackles to turn a broken play into positive yardage. However, the drive stalled as the enforcer defense was able to keep the Badgers out of the end zone. Into the fourth quarter we go as the enforcers look to take control of the game. The enforcers begin their drive with a run. The running back scampers for a 35-yard gain into Badger territory. The enforcers opt to keep the ball on the ground with another good run culminating in a first and goal inside the 10. The enforcers cap the drive off with a 10-yard touchdown run off the delayed handoff, giving the enforcers a 12-0 lead. It continued to be a bad night for extra points as the two-point conversion was met with an interception. With the Badgers down by 12 and the clock winding down, they take to the air with near disastrous results as the pass is nearly picked off. The second pass of the drive nets short yardage and the ensuing run is stopped for no gain. On their next possession, the Badgers keep the ball in the air resulting in short yardage, but are stopped short of the first down. With fourth down, the Badgers go long, looking for something. 
They are intercepted by the enforcer's secondary. Well, the enforcers will take some time off the clock with a reverse run, keeping the ball in bounds. And they continue to run out the clock with a short game up the middle. The enforcers try and put the game further out of reach with a deep pass that doesn't connect. The last drive of the game for the Badgers starts off with a near turnover, leaving them inside their own two-yard line. A gain of about eight yards gives them some room, setting up for a pass attempt on the next play. And the pass attempt is incomplete, and that's the end of the game, with the Inland Empire Enforcers defeating the Ventura County Badgers 12-0. Players line up to shake hands, followed by a group prayer. And now for the check presentation. Wow, this year raised $4,000 for the Special Olympics. This night was truly a success. The enforcers received the trophy as they successfully defended their title as champs of the Cops of Jocks Bowl. As the night winds down, we send it to Natalie for some exclusive interviews on the field. We are with the captains of the Inland Empire Enforcers, who just won the second annual Cops and Jocks Bowl 2009. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So our captains here, we have Mike Hemrick and Bill Holland. Now, tell me, how does it feel? It feels wonderful the second time around, obviously. Uh, Ventura is a great opponent. This year they brought a, a great team to, to our county to play us again for the second annual Cops and Jocks Bowl. Uh, I can tell you that this year, we had an overwhelming amount of generous support from our fans and our families, and we were able to donate $4,000 to Special Olympics. So it's outstanding event. This was outstanding. So $4,000, and last year was $2,000. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Last year was we raised $2,000. We had a good turnout. Uh, this year we doubled it. Given the economic times, I think it's very generous of our people and uh, very supportive, and we appreciate it very much. You are officers for which department? Uh, San Bernardino PD. Conspiracy School Police. Hesperia School Police, how fantastic. Now tell me how important is it for you to uh, let these young people see you uh, performing uh, not only for entertainment but for a charity? I think that's kind of why we started this years ago was that uh, we wanted the public to understand that we uh, work 40 hours a week as police officers. However, we do have a life beyond law enforcement and that we, we do certain things like this. We give to charity. We're coaches. We're football players. We're all kind of different. We wear a lot of different hats. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's important for the public to see us in this light. And this is our way of giving back to them and showing us that we're human also. Bill, do you feel the same way? Oh, absolutely. Being at the school, I've, um, you know, I deal with kids every day. And it's important for them to see us as people and not just a uniform. And this, this is a great way for us to kind of drive the point home. We, we put our pants on one, one leg at a time, and we come out and trade paint and get busy. So we, this is a great game. Great game, and it's a great opportunity to to share, to, to give back to the community. So is it safe to say we can see both of you uh, playing again next year? Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Absolutely. <laughs> Bill, we Mike. We, we want to make it till we hit 50, so <laughs> I'm a little closer than he is, but we're, we're working yeah, on yeah. it. Well, definitely by the looks of it, you guys will have no problem. That was very entertaining. You guys are fast and strong, and congratulations on your uh, second ch uh, Cops and Jocks Championship. I look forward to uh, seeing you again next year, and thank you for keeping us safe. We really appreciate the opportunity that KVCR has given us to show, showcase us as a team. We've been doing this for a long time, Bill and I, and uh, this is very positive to get out to the community that this, we do some great things beyond what we do for a living. So thank you, KVCR. We appreciate it. Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> well, thank Well, how nice of you. That's, that's very, very nice. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.